to know. All right, we're going to talk about men's health for just a moment here. It's one of the most common types of cancer in men, and often prostate cancer is a slow grower that initially doesn't cause serious harm. But there are other prostate cancers that are aggressive, and they spread quickly, so we want to learn about them all. Here with me now is Dr. Peter Albertson from Yukon Health. Thank you for coming in. Good morning to you. Good morning. So, you know, how the, it seems like the numbers are fairly big here. I mean, how many men have to deal with this? Well, it's a very common diagnosis in the U.S. Almost 200,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer each year. It's the most commonly new cancer diagnosis among men, lung cancer being second. And why do you see these numbers as being so big? Like, why does the prostate become cancerous in so many cases? We don't know why the prostate becomes cancerous, but it does increase with age. So with each passing decade, the increase goes up. PSA testing, though, has also contributed to the number of diagnoses. As you know, there's controversy surrounding that test. Mm -hmm. uh, it finds many cancers that need to be found, but also finds a number of cancers that are slow growing and probably should be left alone. So that's where some of the controversy comes from. Right, and there's often backlash. People say, I don't want to get my PSA exactly. testing because I don't want to know about things that I don't exactly. really need to know about. Exactly. So uh, in terms of who gets prostate cancer when it comes to men, um, there doesn't seem, are there certain groups that seem to be more prone than others? Yes, African Americans have easily twice the risk of uh, getting prostate cancer compared to America, uh, the wow. white uh, Caucasian men. Uh, Asians, interestingly, have a much lower incidence. We think that might be related to environmental factors, but we're not sure what they are. Uh, we know that the, uh, the, uh, the Western diet that's high in animal fats seems to be contributing more than the Eastern diet, which is more tofu-based and soy-based. Interesting, so per perhaps a dietary link. Yep. Uh, in terms of, you know, maybe some men thinking, huh, I'm starting to notice some things that I'm getting a little suspicious of. Maybe it's my prostate. What are some things that they, they might be looking for? Most, most men will notice that voiding begins to change about age 50 and 60. And that's because... In general, prostate in general, issues or not? Yeah. Just whether they have cancer or not, as men move through their 50s and 60s, they undergo changes in life just as women do. And for them, it's primarily an increase in the size of the prostate, which makes it more difficult for them to urinate. Interestingly, that also results in a PSA climbing slightly, and that's what often leads to the diagnosis and uh, uh, leads to increased testing. So what men will notice is an increased difficulty getting the urine and started a slower stream. It is not a sign of cancer. It is a sign of an enlarging prostate, but could be linked to prostate cancer. So as we look at some of these other things, changes to the stream of urine, like you said, blood in the urine, pain in the back, hips or thighs, discomfort in the pelvic area. So all of these different things? Those latter are much more reflective of much more advanced prostate cancer. Uh, early, early prostate cancer carries very few symptoms. Uh, most of what men might notice is the slowing stream. So I guess if there's any concern, any changes, and if you're hitting that sort of magic Check age where these things start happening. Yeah, call the doc. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it.